21 years ago this month, there was a mammoth project taking place in the city of Meridian. The city's most visible landmark was getting freshened up and up being the dominant word here since we're talking about the big old yellow colored water tower in town. And as John Miller found out, there's another name for that tower that is still being used today in today's 208 redial. <laughs> It's that piece of the Meridian skyline you have to get next to to fully appreciate. This thing is huge. I mean, how tall is it? Uh, to the top, it's uh, 135. 135 feet? 135 feet. 500,000 gallons. It is big. And Kurt Hicks' crew has the titanic task of painting this thing. The onion. I guess that's what they call it here in Meridian. The Meridian onion. The Meridian onion. Actually, I wondered if they were going to paint it yellow again. You see, Kurt paints these things every kind of color. Oh, some white, some reds, black, blue, whatever they want. Why do they want yellow? That's what I was wondering, but I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Not to Ryan Dooley. Yeah, I think it's nice. You are the manager here at Under the Onion. Under the Onion. <laughs> I never made the connection. Not many did. I had no idea. Neither did Rhonda Redfern, nope. Nope. and she works there. I had customers say, where'd you get your name? I go, I don't know, let me go find out. Which is why it's very important that Meridian's onion stays yellow. We've got it all power washed. We're gonna go up and spot prime it with epoxy. Then while we all live under the onion, Kurt and the boys will spread 200 gallons of paint over it. Don't miss any. I oh, will try not to. All right. And get the spelling right on Meridian. Yeah, because I don't want to see Meridan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or Hi Mom. It'd be probably better with the purple top since, you know, an onion bloom has a purple top well, on see, it. Well, see, now you're just getting picky. Yeah, yeah, that's, that is a little picky. Yeah. But anyway, it works, huh? Yeah. And everyone's really excited. <laughs> as excited as you can get about a water tower. Okay. John Miller, Idaho's News Channel 7. Okay, so watching that back, we had a few questions, more than a few. Fortunately, though, they weren't answered in Miller's, well, less than two minute story. Maybe you have some questions as well. For example, we get the onion reference because it kind of looks like that, right? But according to the city of Meridian, the water tower got the nickname because of its proximity to one of the city's well-known drive-in burger joints, the Hungry Onion. It's a place made even more famous by its inclusion in the Clint Eastwood movie Bronco Billy, filmed at various locations around the Treasure Valley in the fall of 1979. And the tower apparently looked like the onion logo of the restaurant. 1979 is important because the Hungry Onion and the under the onion, I should say, they no longer exist. But 1979 is important because the water tower was built just three years before they filmed Bronco Billy. And it stands officially at 138 feet. The color is officially called sunshine yellow, which apparently came without any thought put into it. So the question of why paint it yellow? Well, we're told it was a standard color offered by the company who made the 500,000 gallon tank because it doesn't fade quickly and it resists rust. So how good are those qualities? Well, the tower only has to be painted, we're told, every 30 years or so, meaning the last time it was freshened up was when John Miller did that story. Finally, any chance the next time they do, I don't know, freshen it up, they change the color or maybe change the boring block letters on it? No way, the city tells us. It's a staple of Meridian. Its presence holds tremendous meaning to longtime residents. It's kind of a symbol of home as they return from traveling.